Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to UN. And uh, uh, I'm happy uh, to see a very active Indonesian students. A group of Indonesian students again at UN, University of Malaya, the best uh, uh, university in Malaysia, in one of the best universities. You know, UN is one of the best universities in the world, yeah? Okay. And uh, today uh, I want to talk about a very essential and important topic uh, which belongs to our uh, professional life, personal life, and uh, interactive uh, disciplines and uh, interdisciplinary issues uh, which are related to uh, media and communication. You know, uh, when we uh, choose to be a students of uh, media and communication and also want to be uh, uh, professionals of media and communication and want to work in the fields of media and communication, we cannot survive after this unless we get some new and essential uh, skills and competencies to use AI, artificial intelligence or AI, and AI-related technologies and machines, especially intelligent machines. Uh, I believe that it would be soon an essential aspect of uh, ordinary and daily uh, education all over the world. Uh, this course or this uh, ta uh, discussion, we, we talk about uh, essential skills for application of artificial intelligence, AI, in human communication, and autonomous uh, education. You know, uh, after COVID-19, uh, after COVID-19 pandemic, we mostly experienced uh, autonomous education or independent education. Yeah. Mostly we try to learn through the use of internet, through the use of social media, through the use of uh, YouTube or many things. Because for uh, uh, almost two years, uh, uh, schools, most of universities and most of uh, even offices were closed and people worked uh, online by the help of uh, internet and uh, mediums. But nowadays, uh, AI or uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, art, uh, artificial uh, machines which able uh, to interact with human beings, which able to uh, process language, which able to uh, uh, have self-awareness in some things. Uh, that's uh, the, the massive use of uh, artificial intelligence and also the massive use of uh, intelligent machines and also chatbots uh, such as uh, ChatGPT and some other things uh, deeply influenced and changed the aspect of human communication and also demands of human communication. That's why we have to focus on some uh, very essential and important uh, uh, skills we want to use in our daily activities as a students of uh, media studies and communication, as professionals or as lecturers 21. You know, when we talk about uh, Artificial intelligence, uh, we know that uh, maybe some people heard artificial intelligence uh, this year or maybe last year when uh, uh, OpenAI launched ChatGPT. But actually, uh, artificial intelligence has a quite long history, at least half a century. You know, the first uh, concept of artificial intelligence became in news in 1954 by the establishment of, or by the production of first uh, neural, uh, artificial neural network, you know, uh, by the, uh, in the inclusion of just 40 uh, artificial networks. But openly, uh, as a discipline, uh, artificial intelligence became as an uh, academic discipline and became in use uh, as a uh, discussion area in 1956 in a Dortmund uh, conference in the United States. But for Hawaii, it was just uh, part of very important research uh, institutions and some main uh, agencies areas such as Internet. Internet after 1919, uh, like that, uh, just after that, uh, until 30 years ago, it was uh, used by some particular agencies. It was not uh, available for all people. And now also, artificial intelligence after about uh, half a century, but with uh, usage of basic as, uh, as, uh, as and uh, basic uh, facilities, 
after uh, a fast growth, you know, so after becoming one of the essential part of modern life, now uh, openly uh, used by all people, especially when people use chat GPT, like ch some chat books, uh, with whichever people to interact, whichever to, uh, even you can talk with machines. You know you can uh, interact with chat GPT, you ask chat GPT something, automatically answer. Even uh, chat GPT may answer, uh, uh, very faster than your friend or maybe yeah. your classmate. Yeah. Yeah. You can ask a question maybe in a few minutes and, and, and at least in one minute, uh, ChatGPT gives a uh, tens uh, answer, maybe to more than ten answers. But if you ask one of your classmates or friends, maybe after five minutes, yeah. you'll get one answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's very important to uh, talk about ChatGPT uh, and artificial intelligence. You know, uh, when we talk about intelligence, Intelligence is the capacity that enables a uh, being, especially human being, that uh, receive information, process information, think based on the reality of information, and talk or answer based on the received information. Look, receiving information, processing information, thinking about the information, and giving, see what? Output or impact or answer. It was just, it belonged to humans. Intelligence, yeah? When we talk about intelligence, we have to know that intelligence has four main parts. First, getting information, input. When we see something, when we hear something, you know? When we touch something, such, through such things and through a stimulus, we get input, yeah? Then our brain, our cells, uh, we get our, our, our which, when one cell gets information through our dendrites, uh, dendrites cell, uh, get information, then processes and uh, main cell then sends through uh, access to other cells. And that, uh, after that, uh, through our uh, self aware disabilities, our, our mind in our brains uh, activate and uh, process the information, then decide what to say, how to answer. But, Human beings, look, this is the photo of a uh, cell, real cell, human being cell. These are dendrites, many dendrites. Dendrites mean antenna. The, uh, the thing that catch information, when uh, you know, this one, two, three, four, many, also small things. When uh, information comes, any of them has the uh, uh, possibility of catching information by, by any of them, any of, the, any of these uh, dendrites. Dendrites, act as an antenna when we uh, use our mobile phones, when we use TV, yeah? when uh, TV uh, channels broadcast, uh, transform uh, uh, waves to energy then uh, uh, since through a big antenna, then we specifically use our TV in our homes. Through the antenna, we receive the TV uh, uh, transform the uh, energy or that uh, waves to uh, for uh, sounds and pictures, we can see and we can hear, yeah? That's why when uh, dendrites take the information, it comes to main cell. Then after processing, since this one is, uh, is uh, axon, trial axon, then sends to the area which is snipes in area be between, uh, what? Between uh, nerves. What artificial intelligence? It's very simple. This is the main uh, cell, the main central cell. There's just three dendrites, this. Because when we see this the, uh, uh, thing made by Allah, it's very complicated and very powerful. There's just three uh, dendrites which can take or receive information, then uh, process here, and then see through what? Out. This is the easy. When they produce uh, artificial neural and neural networks, then machine became aware to take. M machines also became intelligent and became able to receive information, to process information, to know how to gather information and make sentences and send and also transfer us what as answers. This is the base changes and the main changes in uh, uh, development and uh, vast growth and also massive growth of artificial intelligence, which is able to receive information, process information, and think through the, its uh, uh, neural network and self-awareness and 
decide which answer should be shared with the people who ask. But still, still intelligent uh, artificial intelligence would based on the order of human beings. And it still uses the models that produces by, uh, produces by human beings. So still, uh, artificial intelligence uh, plays the role of tool for analyzing, for uh, uh, gathering, and for sending what? Uh, information. But uh, almost after getting uh, order from human beings, able to receive information, process information, gather information, and send information. And the second thing, uh, after neural networks, the second thing which is very important for artificial intelligence is uh, uh, nat uh, natural language processing. You know what is uh, natural language processing is mean? When we talk, when I use some words, you know. When you say something, I uh, understand. When you write something, I read. But when I say something, you hear an answer. Uh, we use uh, ordinary and natural words and voice, you know? A vocal language or writing language. These are natural language understanding. Previously, before the vast growth of AI, AI was just uh, comments and uh, uh, we don't know, switches and huh? Yeah, uh, all that's based on the switches and also codes. But nowadays, AI, uh, artificial intelligence or AI is able to do everything to hear the sound, to read the writings, to analyze the messages, whether it is uh, sound-based or writing, and conclude, then answer. What do it mean that? All the intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence, they're doing the same thing, processing the same procedure of natural language processing. You know that is very, very important. And the third thing, uh, which is very important, for artificial intelligence, which should be aware of that and which should be uh, considered very important, we cannot escape from artificial intelligence. We cannot say, okay, okay, we don't want to use it. Because you cannot, after this, in every year, you will face artificial intelligence. You, in news writing, in receiving news, in even shopping, buying, traveling, everything, already we use. We use artificial That's why it's very important uh, to especially chatbots uh, like ChatGPT and other things which work based on the natural language processing, we have to focus on such things. Okay? And uh, three main essential things which I included in this uh, short lecture. The first thing, human communication. We, when we say human communication, which is media, media studies and journalism, parts of human communication, when we say human communication, all of us know what is human communication. We know that, yeah? Human communication is the process of exchanging information between or among human beings. When we say between, it means that between two people. When we say among, it means that among many people. We just exchange information. Any kind of information through a spoken language, through uh, body language, where I may say, oh, I said to you, hello, you may, let me see how my friend is very happy, look. This is a kind of uh, non-spoken uh, uh, communication. What's wrong writing? Do I write uh, something, give to some person, then he or she read and write? It means that when we talk about human communication, human communication means that the procedure of exchanging information, emotions, Anything between or among human beings. Between when two people talk, it means between. When many people talk together and exchange information with among. And also, uh, based on the uh, structure, human communication has two main uh, structure in coin. The first one, direct. Without mediation of any, anything, we interact. Yeah? Directly, we face to face, we talk, exchange music. The second thing we talk, uh, we interact more communicate around the use of mediums, mobile phone, social media, anything, yeah? And, uh, but nowadays, previous that, human beings use machines as a mediators of communication. We use machines to enable us to communicate with other people, yeah? We use social media to communicate with other people. But nowadays, it, the game has changed. Machines interact and communicate with people as a one side of communication, as a communicator, not just facilitator of communication. And also autonomous education, which is very important, these three things. 
What is, what is the meaning of autonomous education or independent education? It means that you as a students, researchers, researchers, anyone can learn whether the intervention of the second person. You can directly get it from the machines, intelligent machines. You can learn many things, you can get any information without the limitation, the limitation of time, the space, and needed for support of other people. You can interact with uh, intelligent machines, you can get information, anything that you want. That's why. And AI, human communication and autonomous uh, education nowadays, uh, part, essential part of, you know, one complex or one uh, structure of modern life. First of all, we have to communicate. It is essential for all aspects of our life, for our personal, for our social, for our, for our anything. Then we have to learn. Then we have to use in different aspects of your life. We will face AI or artificial intelligence. That's why we have to be positive about it. Because we cannot escape. Maybe if some uh, one uh, didn't like social media, say, OK, I don't want to use social media. It was a choice. But AI cannot. Because one day, maybe every system, every administrative system, everything should be uh, based on the AI. That's why. And also, it's not very dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's not out of control of human beings. But still, AI works based on the order of human beings. AI uses the structures, natural language processes, which get from humans. You know, and learn from humans. When they design the neural network, AI learns increases abilities throughout our daily uses, especially chat GPT. That's why when we go to AI, it's better to be positive about and think that as it was on the main essential, essential aspects of our life in the future. The first, the first thing in the first scale or the first, uh, the first main point to be aware of uh, AI or artificial intelligence and uh, uh, intelligent machines and use properly is helpful attitudes towards AI, AI powered machines. It means that with negative attitudes, we cannot succeed, we cannot learn things. We have to have helpful. We also can uh, don't say positive, helpful. Helpful means a neutral. You can use based on the natural aspects and natural reality. That's why we have to look to AI, AI powered machines and facilities uh, through a helpful, a helpful attitude and point of view. The second thing, look, language skills or language proficiency. In our daily uh, interactions, we need language proficiency or language, language skills. Because if we don't have language skills, we cannot communicate well. And in the AI also, language skills is the most important and very essential aspect and uh, scale and competence. Why? Because AI or artificial intelligence and artificial uh, machines work based on our uh, prompting or orders when we write or even when we talk. If we write concise and clear messages, AI will give very good answers. Otherwise, if we don't know how to write the prompts, AI ChatGPT or anything maybe give a uh, big and not clear answer. That's why uh, the language, language proficiency, language skills are very important. The second thing, technical skills. Just with language, you cannot, because AI cannot be like human beings on the table. AI, AI, AI machine chatbots will work throughout the uh, technology, yeah? online around the use of uh, computers, mobile phones. That's why we have to improve our what? Our uh, technical skills based on the requirement of AI. And hopefully you can improve throughout the use of uh, ChatGPT by the help of AI. You can improve your language and language skills by the use of uh, uh, AI. You can improve your language and also technical skills. And another thing, prompt skills. Prompting the skills, prompt engineering. When the people say prompt engineering, you must not take engineering, they use some to know. Just how to write instruction concepts in prompt. You know the meaning of prompting? When you use ChatGPT, there is an area to write messages or just ask questions. That writing 
This is prompting, instructing. Then what is uh, you use carefully and concisely? This is one of the most requirements and very important and essential uh, skill. And another thing, awareness, aware, awareness of the main benefits and challenges of AI. As educators, as uh, as students, as uh, professionals, we have to know what are the main benefits of AI and what are the challenge, main challenges. The main benefits help us to learn fast, help us to get information without the consideration of uh, time limitation, space limit, and thing. Helps us to uh, improve our skills. But the challenge, if people do not don't be honey way, they use uh, they not, honestly they may just copy paste everything. They are students for, and they will <laughs> undermine the analysis. So it's very actually it's very difficult for uh, lecturers to uh, control, yeah, because they don't know because that they, they, the ChatGPT does everything similar to uh, because uh, nowadays ChatGPT and uh, artificial intelligence use natural language processing. Then when the machine uses natural natural language processing, it means that it's very difficult for uh, for a uh, lecturer to catch the students when they just copy input from that, yeah? yeah and some other challenges, but why we have to be uh, aware and use honestly and for the good of our future, our uh, life and humanity. Another thing, machine, human-machine communication and collaboration. This is very important. After this, we cannot consider machine just a tool. Because machine, once you start it and switch on, the machine can think can know, can get information, get, can process information, then we have to respect such intelligent machines because they do the same things we do with our brain. Maybe with some limitations, but uh, communicate, uh, such machines act as a one side of our communication. Yeah? Another thing, teamwork. Teamwork is very important. Teamwork means we cannot just stop asking questions from one another getting help from one another. Because if we stop getting help and asking questions, we will be behind the uh, new trends and new uh, developments. We have to collaborate, we have to ask from one another, we have to learn from one another. And such things help us to uh, use AI and uh, artificial intelligence in our daily lives, our education, our uh, work as a journalist, as a media activist, or anything. Or our uh, communication with our friends, or even when we are alone, we want to communicate with someone we don't uh, have anyone to communicate, we can communicate with machine, we can communicate with ChatGPT. <laughs> and that's why we have to know such things. And uh, uh, that's why, uh, besides learning some professional things and some getting some information about journalism, media studies, and communication, we have to, uh, which is a uh, massively used. Uh, part of uh, daily love human communication we have love. Now we want to know something from you and have you an uh, idea or any question from you? Any uh, idea or anyone want to share something? Friend? Anything? No? Anyone? Any idea about uh, ChatGPT, about uh, artificial intelligence, about uh, new education, autonomous education, any question, anything? Of uh, modern life, 
And uh, just be aware that uh, we cannot escape from uh, effects of uh, artificial intelligence in, uh, 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 by uh, intelligent machines. And we have to learn, so it's very, very easy just to consider such uh, key points. We would be able to use AI and we would be one step uh, behind some other people who uh, ignore the real aspects and the real effects of AI. Yeah. That's right. Yeah? Yeah. When we consider AI in our daily lives, we would be one step uh, behind from some people who ignore the real aspects and the real effects of AI in uh, modern life. Because no one can escape. Yeah? If someone says, okay, I will be stay aside and just talk people, then people will go fast with AI, by the help of AI, and these people may stay. But when they do start, they cannot catch other people. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's why, and especially all of you, why some other people can uh, code, can uh, produce such, such things, can uh, produce artificial intelligence and artificial news? Any of you can, just, just try, just try one, yeah, I believe that. It's very easy. Now, by the help of uh, uh, AI or artificial intelligence, chat GPT, you can learn many things. You can improve uh, your language skills, technical skills, get some new ideas, and even uh, do some cooling and also do uh, some uh, neural, some, uh, produce some neural uh, networks. And also have your own uh, style of information sharing with uh, artificial intelligence.